Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught our special video last night updating details on the magnetic pole shift. Today we're hitting atmospheric forcing, Antarctic ice, and the Atlantic Ocean. But we've also got space weather, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Plenty of coronal surges, including a failed CME eruption near center disk. Solar flaring peaked at M5, but all flares were impulsive. We'll be monitoring closely to see if this uptick in flaring continues, since there are several big active regions on the Earth facing half of the Sun. You see them here. Biggest groupings are distending slightly as the new sunspots crest over the limb into view. I don't expect high X-class events from these regions, but more M-class flares are likely. Let's move next to a new paper by a friend of ours. It's a major deep dive into the data on global temperatures, cloud albedo, and solar energy. The work determined that the sun and cloud forcing was responsible for 100% of the so-called warming trend and 83% of all global surface air temperature marks over the last 24 years. It also showed how the IPCC messed up this issue to arrive at their mainstream narrative. Up next, we're looking at Antarctic sea ice, where the western sheet appears to be less at risk than many have suggested. This puts a huge dent in the sea level rise claims for the future, and they say all models using the marine ice cliff instability process need to be harshly reevaluated. Last but not least, the Atlantic is cooling off quickly, and nobody knows why. Uh, maybe the people who predicted it could shed some light on that. Oh wait, that's us. Folks, as we've said over the years, major heating causes sea ice melt that reverses the trend into cooling. This, combined with the potential release of the Beaufort Gyre, which may be in play here too, is exactly what we have been telling you was going to happen. The seesaw has begun swinging, still some back and forth to go before the major descent into the cold cycle. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.